And then there was one, the final chapter of the first book of the freshman. Recap the last chapter right quick. Abby lost her choice, lost her opportunity to get at Tyler. And she is very, very pissed off about it. But I stayed in the last chapter. It was her own damn fault why she lost Tyler. Because she seemed interested in him very like the very second chapter when they first find out. And um Zach told Alyssa that Tyler had a crush on Abby. You kind of seeing sparks flying between both ends. Had a whole damn book to get with her. Hit with him, excuse me. And failed. And he ended up rolled with Layla. So I decided, you know what? You had an opportunity to get the whole damn I mean, yeah, the whole damn book to get you had an opportunity to get Tyler for the whole damn book and you didn't get him. I'm not helping you anymore. You can sit there and soak in your damn room for I give a fuck. Maybe next time you'll learn to get more oh, more confidence and, and go get your man. He tried. He had a crush on you and he tried to get you. But you kept on shutting him down. Only time you see him interested is when Layla's around. But that's on you. Moving on. Now Alyssa has a dilemma on her own. Not really. According to Zach, she uh, Alyssa has a dilemma on her own, but let's be real, it's not a dilemma. One perfect night, three potential dates. Made that two. With a heartfelt formal mirror, I was always trying to make a choice. Made that two because, like I said, I portraying this MC as a straight female. It's gonna be interesting in men. Kaylin's gonna be a choice. Um, with that saying, Kaylin's already disqualified. So let's go and get into this damn chapter. Let's get the shit over with. Please stop playing the op. Let's fall in love music. Chapter 17, The Heartfelt Former. The first rays of the sun wake you the next morning, slanted through the window and falling across your face. Oh, boys. You check your phone, bolt up right as you remember what day it is. Oh. The dance. See how far it Charge out to the kitchen and find a fresh pot of coffee on the counter, along with a note from Zach and Tyler. Don't drink too much coffee. Breakfast on the roof. Come join us. Sounds fun. You pour yourself some coffee and head upstairs to find Zach and Tyler eating cereal and looking out at the town of Hartford. Good morning, little Miss Heartbreaker. Now it's a big decision for our main progress. What big decision? Alyssa has to as two to one take to the hot show. Dance, and he has two quote two unquote hotties vibe for her attention. Don't remind me. I just want to have my coffee and cereal like a normal person. Not have to worry about any of this. Maybe we can make a pros and cons list. It was all to break down lists of suitors and to extra bits of data. I don't think this approach is. I don't think that approach is necessary. Actually, this is pretty helpful. Don't be ridiculous, you know deep down you don't take your phone, you just have to make a simple eyes up. The close your eyes and take all the memories of the fall quarter. I might do this adding in the eye, you know. If all the if the other guys in the football team oh, I don't tell you. If all the guy if all the other guys in the football team seem to get tackled, so I'm gonna get tackled by a pretty girl that I didn't figure out. And Chris, by the way, nice to meet you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some editing. Actually, She's my fiance! You open your eyes and green at Zach. But have you figured it out yet? I have. I finally know who I want to ask to the dance. You know what? I'm going to flip a coin. I'm going to keep this up for a second. Alright. I'm going to find me a coin. And I'll, I'll flip it. I got a coin. That's how I'm gonna do this. Cause, I, Cause, to be honest with you, I don't think any 
Either of those guys are Alyssa's tight. And I don't think she wants to take either one. I don't think either I don't think either one deserves to go to Desperate. But they say I have to choose, so I'm gonna do this. Heads will be Chris, tails will be James. Okay, I was ricocheted, so I'll try one more time. So, so I guess she goes to James. James it is. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Uh, yeah, it was. But what are you waiting for? Go tell him. Oh, I, I, I'm, I have no idea where he might be. The Vasquez office, you find James at his laptop working. Not not. Listen, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Vasquez didn't need us in the day. I need a quiet place to write. Vasquez isn't around, is he? No, he has an important errand to run again. Why? I just don't think he wanted to see me. I just don't think he wanted to see me. Anyway, what's it? How's it going? I'm nearly done with the second act. Just give me a minute, wrap this up, and then we'll talk. You walk over to the desk and close James' laptop. Listen, what the fuck are you doing? Get back. Well, talk now. What's going on in here? Whoa, wow. You really don't know what today is, man. Uh, Saturday. Yes, but what's going on today? Oh, yeah. So I assume you're going to ask me to the dance. Just mess with you. So can I tell you your formal? I suppose I can make myself available. Good to know. Then you need to pick out, pick up, yeah, you pick out just for a hard time. Can't be just any dress, it has to be perfect. Today has to be perfect. Not a bad dress. This should be fine. It's not that perfect. Not, not like y'all don't kiss. We arrive at Hartfield University's magnificent ballroom on the eastern end of the campus and meet your bed on the front steps. What's up, James? You look nice. I'm not reading that part. <laughs> James moves to stand aside, stand beside you after he's in his arms. Shall we? Definitely. As you enter the ballroom with James, Zach runs over to you, a champagne flute in each hand. Excuse me. Ooh, did you guys drinks? No way, baby. These are mine. Go get your own. Oh, no, I'll be back in a bit. Listen. Don't keep me waiting too long. James grins at you, then says off for refreshment too. Damn, great catch, Alyssa. Mm, hey, that's my date, you're arguing. Speaking of romance, though, any chance of Brandon will make an appearance tonight? Chips in the night. Zach and Brandon didn't go to Hart and Phil together. If he does, he won't be as my date. He won't be as my date. You didn't ask him to come with you? Nope. I don't know who's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with me. Usually I have no trouble punching guys. Coaching guys, excuse me. You just need to get your confidence back. We're working on that, okay? I don't know. I can't help but think if... I can't think that if I had done some things different, Brandon and I would be together. Yeah, maybe you're right. Don't worry about it, Alyssa. I, won't, I don't want to spoil your night with my sulking. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go transfer this champagne to you. <laughs> That's what the fuck is that. You know, there's a such thing as being too honest. I guess we're good to disagree on that. See you around, Alyssa. As Zach heads off to the restroom, we look around for other familiar faces. Hey, Alyssa. Tyler dances over to you, Layla clinging tightly to his chest. Oh, hey, you two. Hey, Alyssa, where's James? He's giving us the drinks. I'll check on if I you. If my boyfriend look like that, I wouldn't let him on sight. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend, so shout out. What is that supposed to mean? Listen, Layla, if I were you... I had a screenshot uh, screen there. That's the first time she gets pissed off at Layla. It's about damn time. If I were you, I'm my own damn business. I didn't mean... By the way, Alyssa, how you talked to Caitlin today? No, I, I haven't seen her. Is she here? Somewhere around here, yeah. She was pretty upset earlier. Might want to give her some space. I don't know. I feel like I should say something. I don't want to be mad at me. 
Well, wait, why would she be mad at you? Long oh, story. Listen, listen, if you need to talk, you know where to find me. Yeah, thanks, Tyler. Really. No problem. You search the dance floor for Caitlyn and find her dance with Darren. A big smile on her face. Apparently, she must not be that mad. <laughs> she got a big smile on her face. Darren clears his throat as you approach, and Caitlyn turns around, her eyes going wild when she sees you. Hey, Caitlyn. Oh, hey, Wilson. Should I give you two some space? No, I won't be that type of I won't be that type of scene, so let me say right soon. Then I'll be mad. Well, obviously I'd like to be here with you. No, you're never gonna be there with her! She doesn't like women! She's into men! When you gonna get after your thick skull head, Caitlin? And I did have some pretty uh, and I did have some pretty special plan for tonight. Why? Kissing? That's all you gonna that's all you gonna do, just kiss her. Or try to kiss her. Fuck that! Get the fuck out of here! May you get her never! Thank you! Finally a good option! I think we're better off as friends! Works for me. By the time you get it! Script me- damn. Chris spots you as you walk past the razor over. Hey, Alyssa. You're <laughs> so sad. Chris. Uh, talk. I, I, I'll talk with him. No need. I don't want to speak or explanation or any of that. I just, I wish things had been different. That's all. Well, first of all, I want, I'll say this one more time. This is the last time I'll be able to read it. Melissa was never interested in you begin with, Chris. And plus, you know, even if you, even if you, there was a small 0.001% chance of you actually trying to win Melissa's heart. They went out the window when you start hanging out with Becca, who is enemies with Alyssa, of course, so. Maybe you should have stuck with Alyssa all the time, then maybe things would have been different. But you blew it. Remember, you blew it. I had pretty, I had pretty big plans for us, mate. Let me guess. You're gonna kiss her and try to have sex with her. What else is new? Get the fuck out of here. Both of y'all. You and Kevin go, go somewhere with that shit. No worries. Maybe next time. Yeah, I don't know about that. As Chris disappears into the crowd, James walks over with your champagne glass. Everything okay? Everything's awesome and delicious. Yeah, I guess you could dance with it. Here's a fun one. I guess that means you, you own the dance. James leads you over to the dance floor where you join your friends. You two look great together. Not as cute as us. They're not a couple, so cut it out. Looking great. <laughs> This is what I'm here you. You better be talking about Alyssa. Because I don't think James went that way either. James smiles as he places his hands on your waist and he's ready to get into music. I'm glad you came with me. I know you're not the party type. I am when I want the right person. He twirls around you and you laugh. You know, I didn't think you really liked me at first. We gave that idea. The stony stares, the sarcasm, the aloof attitude. Tells me why I want with someone. I'm kind of the same way too, unless um, alcohol is involved. What changed your mind about me? I suspect you're fishing for compliments. And what if I am? I'll tell you that I knew I liked you when you stood up the basket the very first day. Way back when I thought it took you a while to want someone. <laughs> Not you, you're different. James. You danced until the last song plays on the closing notes. James dips his head, his breath to him. Maybe you should go somewhere a little pri somewhere a little private. No, no, no. Where's the next morning you wake to find yourself in find your suite in the flurry of activities as everyone packs for winter holidays. More or less, how did last night go? That was nice, listen. I have to go get my back get back stuff my last night. Don't leave us saying that, okay? You got it. You step to Vasquez's office and find him at his desk, a large leather book, book open, leather bound book open in the front of him. Oh, let's come in. What do you have for me today? Wordlessly, you hand, you hand him the essay he typed last night after the dance. He reads through it and harsh, harsh lines of his face soft as any meals in him. This was quite moving, Alyssa. Very nicely written. What's the permission I like to lose? No, I like to use this last one in my book. Vasquez clears his throat and reads aloud from your essay. 
Love isn't about first impressions of spotting someone across a crowded room. It's about really knowing someone and discovering the best parts of them. The, be the parts even they don't think exist. The way you find it, you have to fight for it. Because if you don't, you risk losing everything. Just say a knock, knock sounds at your door. Not so long. Enough. Ah. Just say a knock sounds on your door. Young nurse walks backward, backwards into the room. Willing in an IV stand. Vasquez get up from his desk. Literally agitated. Some of my words a little bit. Not now, damn it. What's all this? Nothing. Just forget what you saw. Just forget you saw anything and get out. How are you sick? What's wrong with you? Professor Vasquez fixes you with a steely glare and then shoulders the swamp. He worries. He waits for the nurse to leave. Excuse me. Cancer. I have cancer, Alyssa. Oh my god. How long does you how long have you known? Does Gabriella know? No, of course not. Does James? No, you won't tell him. But, but he has the right to know. They both have the right to know. James absolutely idolizes you. You can't, you can't just not tell him something this huge. I wouldn't have told anyone you had witnesses. Why do you say this ain't interfere with my life? Why you can't just let me live up my, live my, live up my last days in peace? Because I'm stubborn, damn it. <laughs> I told you on the first day we met, I'm not going anywhere. You may have cancer, but there's a big difference between dying and being dead. You still got a damn I me. Mean, you still got a great me. You still have a daughter out there, and soon a grandchild. Did you say grandchild? Nice to know I can still surprise you. I wonder if it'd be a boy or a girl. Slowly Vasquez gets up from his chair and looks out the window. Look at that. The first snow of the season. God damn, it's technical as fuck. Come on. 18 minutes in. He grabbed the professor's head and pulled him outside. Flakes flutter down the sky, dusting the campus in, the, in white. I'm, I'm about tired of this chapter already. Can this chapter end already? This God damn, this shit is long as fuck. He reaches out and catches a snowflake in his hand where it melts against the warmth of his palm. Looks like you're right. I'm not dead yet. I think it's going to be an interesting winter quarter for both of us. For once, you may be right. As snowflakes fill the cloudy sky, you walk back across the quad to the dorms and find all your suitcases playing in the snow. Snowball fight! God damn it, this chat is long! Oh, you are on. I call Chris. Chris and I are fishing on the team. No fair. Chris really got a scholarship for throwing his stuff. Don't be mad. Hey, let's talk. More dodging, Tyler. Chris whips a small bottle of Tyler's yeah, Tyler sidearm. Tyler's hawks. Tyler's sidearms. He explodes against the front of his shirt. You're going to regret that. As you watch your friends running and laughing, long, laughing through the snow, you smile at yourself. And wonder what the future holds. Thankfully, this book is over. When am I last night going to choose someone else? Replay to find out. No, I don't care. Replay to find out. Fuck that. Definitely got to do some editing on here. So, I guess that's it for the first book. It's been a long one, but it's officially OV, so I guess I'll holler at y'all later.